Hi guys, Dad from Real Guiding. I'm just giving a few tips on Mulloway fishing. Uh, I used to use the stinger setup on my live bait, the generally live bait for Mulloway because it seems to be an easy way for me to catch them, uh, which was a leading hook onto the leader swivel and then a stinger hook hanging off the end. Now, that used to get put through, through the nose of the fish and then one in the anal fin. The thing was, found that it would sometimes kill the fish as they'd swallow it right down into their stomach. I've gone now to a single circle hook and this is just as effective and that's just on a, a running sinker down to a stopper and swivel. You want, about a, you want about a trace almost as long as the fish you think you're going to catch. So a single circle hook like that and the idea of the circle hook is it will catch in the corner of the mouth which makes for good releasing if the fish is either too small or it's a fish you want to return to its habitat. What I've found with the circle hook depending on the conditions you're fishing is either through the nose of the fish if there's a current so it can swim in the current under the bottom jaw up through the top of the nose that'll hold the fish in position uh, while, he's, while he's swimming along in the current. When the water becomes more still, straight behind the anal fin is another good way of hooking up. Or if you're mid-water fishing and you want the fish halfway down in the water column through the middle of the back so he can swim around like so. Now, obviously that's not a live bait. However, I may be able to create the illusion. I try and keep my bait close to the bottom. I use a good quality mono because when a mulloway has those big head shakes you need that shock absorption to keep the hook attached otherwise it could easily pull out. This is the result of that circle hook. I know the net's tangled but look at that. Perfect, right in the front corner of the mouth. So I'm just gonna cut that. All right, there's a bycatch from trying to catch a mulloway but it's a big breeding female so we're gonna send her back in. Here you go. Good old circle hook. I find the best time for catching mulloway, especially here in the Hunter River, is right on evening, just at that calm period before it turns to night, and especially coinciding with a high or a low tide, right on the ebb, either one. Still conditions, that's why I'm going through the tail of, uh, of this yakka here. So it's in behind the anal fin, away from spine or anything else now he'll swim around happily down there not happily yeah, probably not happy all right so we just got a little jew here let's see where the circle hook ended up look at that right in the corner of the mouth perfect now the beauty of this is we get to let him go We're just going to head down to the water's edge and let him go. Look at that little chrome ghost. So, guys, I hope those tips help you catch more mulloway. <laughs> so, I hope those few tips are going to increase your catch rate of mulloway here in the Hunter. Uh, one thing to remember, guys, is Use best practice, support your fish, highly recommend the circle hooks and with Ozfish and Real Guiding we're always promoting looking after fish for the future.